Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Krenad and today we're going to talk about this beauty right here. So this video is long overdue because I've had this guitar for about three months now and it totally changed my way of looking at the instrument. I mean, I've been playing this a lot and it's just a beautiful guitar. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'll let you know what the guitar is, what it's made out of, what the specs are and everything. So the guitar is a Stanford Vanguard and it's your classic jazz box with a soft cutaway and it has great appointments. I mean, it has a solid spruce top, it has a really good ebony bridge, it also has a really good PAS style pickup, but uh, in my channel's fashion, we're going to start from the headstock and move our way through the body. I also want to clarify that Stanford and iMusic Distributions actually uh, sent me this guitar for a review, but I fell in love with it, so they gave me an artist price and I kept uh, the guitar. So thank you so much to Stanford and iMusic Distributions. I really appreciate it. So to get it out of the way, you can find this guitar at Tolman. They stock these uh, Stanford guitars. And you can also order one directly from iMusic Distributions. I'll leave a contact email and their website under the description down below so you can check them out. This guitar retails at around uh, 1,000 euros. And trust me, it's worth every cent of it. I mean, it's just a beautiful guitar. It's easy to play. It sounds good. And it looks beautiful. Come on, look at that. First and foremost, we have this beautiful headstock right here, and it's equipped with these tuners, uh, the Clouson Supreme tuners. They're perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with them. I wouldn't change them because they work, they keep the guitar in tune, and there's no big jumps when you're tuning the guitar. So moving down to the nut. Now the nut is actually a bone nut that you find in premium instruments, and it's really cut well. I mean, it's perfectly done. There's no binding going on. There's nothing that interferes and the, sm the strings just go smoothly through the nut and it keeps the guitar perfectly in tune. I mean, there's no complaints about that whatsoever. So let's get to the most important part of the guitar and that would be the neck and the fretboard. So first of all, I wanna say that the fret job on this guitar was immaculate straight out of the box. I mean, the fret ends are perfectly smooth and the frets themselves are very well polished. I mean, there's no scratchy feeling anywhere. And you can you can see that someone paid attention and you can feel the same treatment of the frets even on the higher register, which is not always the case. I mean, this guitar is, was perfectly set up. The guitar came with 10s, but I immediately swapped them out for 11s because that's the gauge I'm used to it. And that's what feels comfortable to my fingers. So yeah. Now the fretboard is made of ebony and I swear I'm probably not going to play another guitar that doesn't have an ebony uh, fretboard or something else but it needs to be as smooth as this so I'm kind of hooked with this guitar and this fretboard and this whole thing so the next guitar I have to play 
it has to be something as smooth as this one because I mean everything that's gonna come next is to, I'll, I'll have to compare it with this because it just feels amazing the fretboard radius is 12 inches and it's really comfortable for me I was used to my PRS being an, a, a 10 inch uh, radius but there's not that much of a difference so this is really really comfortable to me and as I said I've been playing this guitar for a long time and the problem now is that I can't play guitars that are like not this thick. I mean, if 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 I play a single cut or something or a Telecaster, it feels weird to me because I'm so used to this in only three months and that's just ridiculous. It just goes to show how good the guitar is. I'm not good with recognizing neck carves, but this to me feels like a D profile and it's not thick and it's not thin. It's just middle of the road, very comfortable. Like. I would say every player would be comfortable with this neck profile. It, it might not be your favorite, but it's pretty, pretty comfortable to play. Oh, and the neck itself is made out of mahogany. Now, as I said, the price of this guitar is around 1,000 euros, but for that price, you get a solid spruce top. And this is probably louder than most acoustics that I've played. I mean, take a look at this. probably double up as your acoustic guitar if you want to just play the guitar while watching television or something like that you can't go wrong with this like this is the perfect contender for that so as I said solid spruce top maple back and sides mahogany neck and it also has this cool ebony bridge and it looks fantastic it's a floating bridge so uh, intonation can be a little bit tricky but it's not impossible to intonate it I mean this is a D chord and this is a D chord it sounds good enough so there's no complaints at all you just have to fiddle with it a little bit and you're good to go I think this is a real contributor to the tone that this guitar has that mellow tone that spanky at the same time so it's just the perfect balance uh, for a jazz guitar I would say so the tailpiece is this metal tailpiece and I absolutely love the way it looks it does its job it's easy to restring you don't have to fiddle around with it so Perfectly fine, nothing nothing bad to say. So obviously there's only one pickup and it's a PAF style pickup and I think it's very well balanced, it's very dynamic and it's perfect for this, uh, for this kind of guitar. I mean it does the job, it sounds beautiful and it responds beautiful to, to my playing so I really really enjoy it. The guitar has two pots, very simple, a tone knob and a, a volume knob and they work perfect, no scratches, anything like that, they have a good taper to them, no complaints there. One thing that I absolutely love about this guitar is the fact that it's finished with nitrocellulose. I mean, it's my first nitro guitar and I fell in love with the smell. I mean, that's basically it. It feels really good, not so different to my polyurethane finished guitars, but it's smooth. I mean, the body looks great, but that smell, it's it's just, it's all about that smell. It's a really cool feature for a guitar that costs a thousand dollars. This guitar also has some small appointments that make it special i mean the pick guard is made out of uh, ebony which i find to be very cool for some reason and also the truss rod cover right here is also made out of ebony which is a great touch in my opinion this guitar also has binding along the body along the f holes along the neck and i mean for a guitar like this it has to look classy like it has to feel classy and it has to sound classy and this guitar does it perfectly in all departments so I mean I'm totally in love with this guitar and this might seem like a biased review but I promise it's not Stanford is not paying me or is not telling me to say something about this guitar that uh, they would benefit from but I'm truly in love with this guitar and uh, as I said I'm having a problem playing solid body guitars that are thinner so this is my go-to guitar for the moment so I'm totally in love with it and it has nothing to do with the affiliation with Stanford or uh, iMusic distribution. So that will be it for the specs and features of this guitar. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit and I'm going to use my room mic because in the be in the beginning you heard the guitars plugged straight into my new XMG30 and recorded it in the computer. Uh, but I also wanted to show you the room sound so I'm using just my smartphone and again I'm plugging it straight into the MG30 again with the same preset, a tweed amp set clean. And I'm also using my Boss Katana 50 on the acoustic channel just to monitor everything. So let's hear it. And after that, I'm going to talk about is it worth getting this guitar? And I'm, I'm going to give you my two cents. Well, I've already given you my two cents because 
Uh, I've just said that this guitar is gorgeous and beautiful a thousand times in this video. So you know it's going to be positive, but if you want to hear more, stick to the end. So this is how it sounds. So if you're a blues player or if you're a jazz player and you're looking for a solid instrument that you can work with, this is the perfect decision that you can make. I mean, as I said, the aesthetic values of it are just gorgeous. It, the sonic values of it are immaculate. The playability is great. And I mean, don't, don't let it put you off that it's made in China. And I mean, it's perfectly crafted and it has the best parts that you can find I, I would say I mean it, it has a solid spruce top as I said it's louder than most acoustics that I play uh, but take that with a grain of salt because I haven't played a lot of expensive acoustic guitars but it doubles as an acoustic guitar in that case oh, and that first part that goes like this that's good that's a part from one of my songs that I'm trying to write uh, I, I want to write a single and after that hopefully it will come with uh, an entire album so I'm really stoked about it but I'm, I'm seeing my possibilities if I can do it at the moment but that melody right there that riff it just stuck in my head so I, I need to get it out some somehow so I'm using this video but hopefully I can record it with a band so wish me luck on that so yeah I got a jazz guitar and I'm completely in love with it but does that mean that I'm gonna start wearing fancy jackets and wear dark shades indoors of course not All right, guys, so that will be it for today's video. Please leave your thoughts about this guitar under the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the video, and as I said, leave a comment because that really helps with my journey here on YouTube. So thank you very much for your time and have a good one. Bye-bye.